Alright, we're halfway through this tutorial. I thought I'd celebrate this by doing two commands in one episode. The one and two commands work the same way. One slides up and the other one slides down. And these commands are pretty straightforward and I have no clever hacks to reveal today so let's get started. And first I'm going to load a sample and I'm going to put the note C2 in truck number one like this. Now the one and two commands have 255 parameters each but chances are you'll just use a few of them. And they can go on the note or in between the notes and they change the pitch like this. Let's start with the one command like this and I'm going to use a slow slide so let's go with three here. Let's listen how this sounds. And if I change it to two here the two command will slide it down like this. And just like with the A command, you need to define this parameter for each command, otherwise the pitch won't drop all the way. And the speed of the song will also affect this command, so if I go slowly like FOC here, you give the 2 command more time to slide like this. So, what will happen if you keep sliding down like this? Let's find out. I'm going to use the parameter 1F here to slide it faster, and let's listen. It won't go any lower than C1, so I'll put the C1 here as a reference. Listen. And the same thing will happen if you're going upwards, like this. But be careful when doing this, because you will reach the dreadful note B3, which, as you know from episode 5, is a big no-no in ProTracker. And although this will sound alright in this clone, it will sound horrible on Amiga. Let's hear it. Alright, now I'll show you a neat little way to use this one command. I'll start by marking my block like this, Control B, and going up here, Control X to cut it away. I'm putting the note C2 here, and I want to slide this note to E2 here. And as usual, I'm using my 3 command, and I'm going to go with uh, 3 OA here, and let's listen how this sounds. Yep, that works. But I want it to start sliding right away. So I'll use my one command here with a parameter of 8 and let's listen how this sounds. Perfect. And this trick is good in two ways. Not only does it start sliding right away, you're also making sure you reach your final note with a 3 command. And if you have room for it, it doesn't hurt to put an extra 3 here to really make sure you reach it. Let's listen again. Perfect. So, I hope that was somewhat useful. In the next episode I'll be talking about something essential when doing chip music. So thank you for tracking, please comment and I'll see you in episode 8.